This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we're talking about Lauren Hill. She says, uh, dro- someone says, drove a rental car for 4.5 hours to get to Fort Worth for a Lauren Hill concert. Rented an Airbnb. Arranged childcare. Took off work. Get there, and the show's been canceled 1.5 hours before the doors open. I was worried she was going to just show up late. <laughs> oh, gosh. Lauren Hill. Some people really do go hard for these concerts, okay? I can't, I can't, fall, you know, if you didn't have concert goers, you wouldn't have money for artists to, uh, you know, live their lives. So they should really respect these people that will stop their lives to go see a concert because that's their form of, uh, you know, letting go and releasing, you know, like just, you know, that's their mode of relaxing some people, you know, and man, Lauren Hill just doesn't care. So we got um, Birdman and he supposedly takes Drewski's chain. It says uh, Birdman caught Drewski slipping. It could have been records chain. Surprise party B.I.T.C.H. slipping in the studio. Rich gang. Obviously, it's a joke because Whack 100 is teaching Birdman to kind of lean into social media a little bit more and have fun with it in his 50s, and which is good. You know, it's like Birdman needs to loosen up a little bit. He's like, Yo, you need to loosen up a little bit, man. <laughs> so <laughs> he's uh, embracing it. D1 responds to Jim Jones, Meek Mill and everything. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, man. So Jim Jones threatened to slap the dread out of his head. D1 has been dropping music for 15 years, okay? And nobody really knows who he is, okay? He does positive things. He does. I'm not I'm not totally destroying him. He he he's one of those guys that is just like extra positive and that, that's cool. That's cool. But Meek what Meek Mill, Rick Ross, and Jim Jones understand is first you have to relate to the people you're trying to change the minds of. So you got to make music so they think you're cool. Nobody's listening to somebody they don't think is cool. They're not listening to D1. The people that are listening to D1 are already changed. They're not listening to D1 and being like, oh, he's got a point. No, they're going to relate to Jim Jones, relate to Rick Ross and Meek Mill because they came from that circumstance and they still understand that environment, but preach something different outside of the music. And they do. They do. So D1's totally wrong and doesn't get the, uh, it, it makes me think he, did he grow up in, in, in the hood? Does, or does he even understand it? Does he understand the ki- the minds of the kids he's trying to change? No, he doesn't. Okay. Buster Rhymes, Young Thug. They're dropping uh, Blockbuster. Okay. Blockbuster. Block, is that the name of the album? I don't know. Anyways, they're dropping a song together, I'm, and it's produced by Cool and Dre. I like that. So I like I like their production, man. Always have. And their new production on Rick Ross and Meek's album is crazy. Um, this is a rare form of either Young Thug or Lil Wayne recording. <laughs> I just thought that was funny that someone put headphones on a, uh, a goat. Then we got uh, Little Yachty says, hip-hop is in a terrible place right now. It's a lot of quick, low-quality music being put out. Bro, you're part of the problem, bro. You just now are waking up to it. Bro, you, you used to be part of the problem. Please acknowledge that. Now you're getting better, but... So, this is the basketball player. I forget his name, man. Joe. His wife, the only fans, he reacted to the Cameron clip of, you know, she's going around doing all these interviews now about how she did OnlyFans and her husband couldn't pay the bills anymore and he's just embarrassed. I don't blame this man, you know, like but you did marry a porn star. So um Keith Kel Mitchell opens up about his health scare. He went to the hospital. It turns out that he had a slip disc that was pressing on a nerve and gave mimic the symptoms of having a heart attack. I'm glad he's doing okay, man, because that's scary. Our bodies are weird. Uh, J.R. Ryder disses Joe Budden, trying to like get him to come out and rap again because Joe Budden was making fun of his music and stuff and clowning his music. So J.R. Ryder said, you know, not your average Joe, blah, blah, blah. You know, it was good. J.R. Ryder has, a sp- he's good with words. 
and you know, but he's not going to bait Joe about it out of doing what he's doing. Christian Rock goes to a, I think it was a Tamar Braxton concert, and she ended up like punching people backstage, and someone's nose was bleeding because she got drunk and thought she was going to perform, and she was mad that she couldn't perform. So the promoter speaks out. Um, this person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play this part because well, I'm not going to play anything. I'm going to just say what they said because they just go on this tangent then Christian Rock goes on a tangent it's just it's just too much uh but anyways she they say I just want to let you know that the girl Christian Rock y'all keep piping up assaulted James Wright Chanel at Tamar's concert tonight James is in the hospital I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison she is trash um that is why her life is the way it is yeah she's out of control she's not gonna change guys I don't I don't care what you she's young and this and this Bro, she shouldn't have had a baby. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, like, this is, she's unhinged. And if you guys keep powering her forward and she doesn't have to stop, it's going to get bad. <laughs> you get, I love it when people push people and push people and push people until they break. Um, it's crazy. This lady is disgusting. I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Christian Rock is in a lot of trouble, basically. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button, and I will check you later. News a little light today, but we'll keep it going.